Hi, today we're going to be looking at what really happens when you put a magnet on a mobile phone. But before that, roll the intro. So here we have a large neodymium magnet, and believe me, this magnet is no joke. <laughs> Time to put it on a phone screen. Here we go. And nothing. What if we move it around a bit? Nope. Put on the camera to check for any effect? Still nothing. For the sake of reliability, let's try this with another brand of phone. Still nothing. We can see that the magnet is interacting with the screen, but that's just due to it being conductive. The phone will behave in the same fashion when in contact with my hand. So why is this? We're always told to be so careful about magnets near electronics. Well, in truth, many of the components inside a modern mobile phone are made of elements such as aluminium, copper, and tin. Metals which are very good conductors but are not ferromagnetic. So where did this myth originate? This is all due to data storage. Hard drives and memory sticks work in a way where the data would become corrupted if exposed to a powerful magnet. Also, older technologies such as CRT monitors can be damaged by magnets due to the metal shadow board at the back becoming magnetized. But in the case of modern mobile phones, neither the SSD memory storage system or the LCD screen function in that way, leaving the mobile phone relatively unharmed, but in the wider perspective, lumped in with other electronics. However, the phone's compass may have its calibration slightly affected, the speaker and camera probably wouldn't thank you, and moving the magnet around a lot like I did earlier could reduce the phone's battery life due to the induced charge. But overall, putting a magnet on a mobile phone is fine, I guess. And sadly that does bring us to the end, but thank you very much for watching. Please do share, like and subscribe, and carry on learning. Bye.